Hello my fellow gamers, Simple Gaming, and welcome back once again to another episode from the Modern World Magic server. Yep, as you can see, we are in the main hub, and there have been a few little changes. Firstly, if you just look behind us, or I should I say, in each of the four corners, uh, we just swap the blocks around off the ME interfaces and the Malak assemblers, just so basically we can get an extra one of these Malak assemblers at the top. So each of them, apart from the bottom four, are making in the most or should, making the most of having one of these in each of the four corners so things can get created a hell of a lot faster. Secondly, we've filled up our holes, uh, put an elevator block in, and now if you see down here, we've got four of these processing units. Each of them are 64K, so we can make so much more in each of these. So that is just absolutely fantastic. And thirdly, just look at this. We've created a structure around our main computer area and just look, we've even got loads of drives ready to go. Yeah, we did, earlier on when I put this together, we did have nine on each of these three sides, but unfortunately, one of them, in particular, the ME drive that was in this spot, just wasn't hooking up to power despite having the cable going into the back and connecting to this one, the one that was in this spot here, and the one that was in this spot here. It was it was powering up this one, but it just wasn't doing this one. So I don't know what the hell was going on, but I've just decided just to take the two on each of the corners and just have the seven on each side. So I think even, even, even with that in mind, that is still more than I think I'm going to need. And also, uh, we just pop down here, the small reactor, we've shifted because we no longer need it because we're just running solely on this big reactor and the lava, which I think for the second time, we've just cleared out all the lava around that pump. And secondly, finally, look at this. Each of our turbines have um, their reactor blades installed. You may be thinking, we're done. We can get the computer craft program going. Well, no, just look down here. Each of these are still to have all of the endearing blocks that we require i just like in that one and that leads us on to the next freaking task for us to do and that is to create some spawners you may be thinking create spawners easy either you can we've got several options we can do ender io we can do um mine factory reloaded which is the classic spawner or we can do the fancy other mod that is soul shards the old ways and as for which the mods i'm yet to be decided but the main thing that i'm not too sure about is actually stick making an area making like say a new dome just for the spawners and then having it running constantly and the only one little slight problem with that is uh, if the spawners are running constantly, loads of other people on the server do have spawners, it could really, really hurt the spawner. And that leads us on to our next properly task, because the spawners are next, but you know what I mean. And that is the mod that we haven't touched upon since I played Minecraft back in 1.6.4, and we did mention it in the last episode. That is Miscraft. Yeah, I have, can't wait to actually play this mod and actually being able to play with it now. I am so bloody excited. I can't bloody wait. So I think first things first, what we need to do is let's just bring up Miss Crafts mod just down here. And one, these are all the items. The first thing that we got to make is our writing desk. This is very simple. It's just wood, a feather, and a glass bottle. I would just do that. And voila, we have a writing desk. And we can also uh, make a writing desk uh, backboard. I'm not sure what use that has, but I think we could actually make one. It doesn't really matter. So let's just throw that in there. Uh, backboard. Go like that. Right. Don't know if we're going to actually need that, but it's got a little fancy. And the second, the next two things that we are going to require are these. It is the rat book binder that is actually going to make the books when we make all the pages and so on that is going to be in time so that is just more wood and some iron just collect that and then we need our ring binder this is what we need to make the linking panels this is basically the first page in the book we'll get onto that in a second so let's just go into there create our link binder so where are we going to put i think we might just put the stuff here just for now so Place that down like that. Oh, fancy. And we just can we place it like that? Oh, that actually does look pretty cool. 
up against the stone wall or something that i think will look even better right let's just place our two things down like so um our, how's that ink mixer and then our bug binder right let's just have a quick look inside of him ah right i think this is where we put our ink and we do need some glass bottles so let's just get some glass make sure we actually spell properly because we never seem to do um glass 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 thank you very much and i think we're just going to get an absolute ton of room i think two stacks should do and let's just fill a stack of them with water easy way to go let's just go outside okay now we've got our water bottles we've got about 62 of them so it's just in case we now need to get some ink this is so we can make our pages so we need to bring up our thingy again so ink vial that is case of you can use a bucket and an empty glass and any type of black dye or ink or just that one sort of thing just that and perfect oh shame we can only put 16 of them so do we put in here can we put one in there okay we put one in there and then we put one in there perfect next thing is we need paper and have we got any we have seven sheets that i think should be okay just for the moment so um i think try to never play with this mod i really should have practiced it beforehand right these are the linking panels and we also need some leather as well this is so we can actually make the books and leather where are you uh 74 i think that should be that should be fine let's just get a chest so we can actually put the stuff in that just temporarily right it's gonna be lo loads of going back and forth with this right play some leather in there just for the hell of it for the moment okay first things first let's create our first linking panel voila this is basically what we can use to go anywhere i think so we put that in there or we put do we put that in there ah should have really freaking should have le at least practiced it in a uh, creative mode just so i knew what we were doing and this second one is going to be our linking book or should i say this is what's going to take bring us back home and with this link and if we were to say um create a dimension and then forget to make one of these we are basically stuck there until someone can come onto the server make one of these unlinking books link it to here and then set it um to this base or send so give us the ability to get home so all i need to do is say let's just say here left click on it and voila so every time we will use this book now it will take us back here but what if we open the book now you see no, we can't select anything because they don't work in the same dimension unless you um, want to make an interlinking book and i think with that you have to put gold dust in here and then just take it out when it goes to the correct so, correct i don't know a select moment yeah i think it's just have to change green so that's that so how do we correct create a book um do we need some leather like that um ha. oh i think it might be in here we have to create a thick i think that's if we want to create a book with loads of different pages and this is where um all the pages are stored so um let me just try like that I'm not too sure actually. I'm still. I really, yeah, like I said, I should have actually practiced this in creative mode. I might have to watch rewatch the video and I'll to me do it all. Yeah, right. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try and work it all out and I'll be right straight back. Okay, it turns out it's actually dead simple to make books. All we have to do is make sure our linking page is here and then we have some leather in this bit. And then we just have to write whatever we want to call the page. Uh, um, created age so in this case i'm just going to call this simples first age and then take our book out and voila 
one-way ticket. Yep, it's basically what it says on the tin with that. If we don't have the linking book, and like I said a moment ago, we don't have one of these linking uh, books that we, to get back, we're stuck. We are basically stuck there. And there's one last little thing that we need um, from the mod, and that is either this thing here, a lectern, or a book stand. And because if we don't have one of those and we just leave the um the book on the ground and it's raining the book will gradually get destroyed over time and especially if you're in a you your own age that means one of these or one of these can get destroyed which isn't exactly what we want i think we might go for a book stand so i think that'd be pretty cool just the template and then we might change it over to the lectern so we just need two of these so one and two and let's just place uh, you here. Place you, my good friend, here. Select in here. Oh boy, I'm go I'm I'm nervous now. Really am. <laughs> ah, and then have to do we right click? Yes, we right click, and then we just have to wait for it to I mean, load up. Okay, this is a different sort of age. Right, let me just place down our linking book like that. Place that down there. And then make sure. We, holy cow, what is that? That's a load of mobs. Um, let's just create a little bookmark here. Just say exit. And make sure we can see it. Yellow. Right, what the hell is this type of age? It's like um, a floating island. All the land's made out of ice. This. <laughs> okay, this is the weirdest age ever. And we have. By the looks of it, we can see all the caves and all the mine shafts are just made out of that. We can see everything. I have to say, this is the most bonkers age ever. Even though it's my first one, it's completely random. And this is just like complete nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look, have a little explore at this. Ooh, no, it's what we got. I feel we can try and get some good notes from here. Twenty-eight, six, sixty. Well, that's not too bad, right? I want to have a little explore because there are a couple structures that you will find in the Miscraft world that will help you make better and better ages and I've no idea how long it's going to take me to find though when I do I'll be right back okay I'm back and that was really really quick because I was just over there uh, we came across this village that is just made of snow and this packed ice and this is it this is a miscraft library and is there going to be any nasties in here we need to make sure we got some torches so we can light the place up uh torches 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 like that and this is basically it. this is what we're after pages and what do we have we have a what's that flowing spirit block um skylands uh star future that, I think, is case. If you create one of those and you lose your ball, you still have a way you're getting back. You just fall into the ground and you get teleported straight back to spawn. We have a single biome distribution, so any world we create, we can basically just have it as one single biome. And what's this one here? And meteors. Yeah, that's something we don't want. And there's also some other stuff in here. I think... There is a chest behind one of these that contains, um, let me just get my axe, uh, that contains a chest, like, contains more pages. Was that that? Nope. Aha, there we go. Picked up more pages. What have we got? Boundless Sky, Normal Moon, um, Half Length, and ses Setting Phase. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Right, I think we're going to collect all these books. So these are going to come in handy. Right. Might as well get everything we need and throw it straight into the ME system. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this mod. Really am. Right, one, two, make sure nothing spawns and just throw everything in the A system. And I think with these pages, we might have to get like a filing system 
just to make it easy to sort through before we actually do want to create a, a properly custom age. Right, five lecterns, they can go like that, like that. Right, I think we're going to have a bit more of an explore now. Um, going to have to try and find a few more of these. I want as many pages as physically possible, but as to how many pages there are in this mod, I have no idea, and we're not too far away from spawn. It's only 500 meters, so... We're going to have a fun, and oh my god, you see that on the left of the screen, that's a big dome of, of oil. <laughs> oh my god, that is actually pretty fun. Right, fun times ahead, I think. So this is something I wasn't expecting to find, quite happily going along, finding villages and loads of the libraries all over the place, collecting loads of books, including some of these sealed notebooks, which I will show you guys in a little while. But it's this thing, I believe I have found a hungry node. This I'm a little bit worried about because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to scan this or get too close or get close enough that I won't get sucked in. This is going to be scary, is it? the telltale signs of a hungry node that reminds me can us oh holy shit holy cow that was scary I almost got caught in it and three two one Oh <laughs> my god, yeah, I'm scared of that thing. Don't want to get even anywhere close to that. What's this node? Just by any chance? Might as well, right. Let's try again. Don't want to get sucked in. Oh, no, 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 no. No way in hell. I'm going to have to try something else to try and get close to that. That isn't happening. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna die before I be able to have scan that thing. Oh my god, that's terrible. Anyways, back to more searching though. It's got to the point with searching for pages and collecting them. We've fi literally filled up the A system, and we're now filling up this end of the chest. So that can't be a good thing, especially in case uh, we come across something um, from the quarry and it can't go. It's got no room to go in. So fun, fun. Now this is the page that we've been wanting since we started searching, and it's this one. Void world! Oh my god, I can't believe how long we have been searching for It must have been at least well over an hour of just searching and searching through all the pages, and... Oh, I'm so, so happy about this. Really, really am. And I'm still going to search. I still have no idea how many blooming pages there are in this bloody mod. I really would love to know, but it's just a case. I really can't be bothered in terms of counting. Oh, olive color. We've got another one. Shield biome. Uh, dark moon. East direction. I have no idea what these are. And we've got two more of these sealed notepads. Wow. Really, I'm gonna have to open them, but like I said, we're gonna be doing that at back at base. And any of these been taken yet? Um, no, they have not. That's actually pretty good, right? Anyways, back to searching. Okay, we are back, and let's put this way I'm gonna hold off on exploring that age just for the time being because how could I put it bluntly? Just look in this pouch. This is our power, you know, put to pump directly into the A system and it's completely full and it's not taking any more stuff in. That is because if you just scroll down here, you can see pages, more pages and more pages. So yeah, we do have quite a few. I've just had to set up this little export bus with um, a fuzzy card and just like just saying, obviously in this case, it's a water block. And hopefully when I put down this... It will pump stuff in. Um, yes, it is. So, that is awesome. It just might take some time. But while we're doing this, I don't know how long it's going to take. But, oh, it's taking, now it's getting there. Uh, we've got all of these things here. Sealed notebooks. Let me just put this paper. Let me just put uh, that, 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 that. Um, and that into the system just to get it out of the finger. And these sealed notebooks, I do believe, contain more pages. As to whether they are rare or not rare is another matter because I just don't have a freaking clue. And, oh, as you can see here, collation folder, we open that. And holy crap, we have a lot in here. 
Oh my god. Let's open another one. What have we got in this one? Uh, clear modifiers, north direct gradient, fully foliage color. Shame I haven't spelled color correctly. What's that one? We just get rid of O. Jungle wood blocks, dark sun, densors. Ooh, <laughs> I know that may be an unstable one, but oh, I can't, that's, that, 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 that does actually sound pretty good. Right, let's open at least two more. One, two, three, four. And um, what we got in here? Teal color, red color, green, gray. Just so bloody many. Yeah, I think this is gonna take some time just to sort through cause. As you can see, when we go in here, we've got all these slots. So I'm thinking, like, you know, when you go in creative mode and you're playing around with Mistcraft, you just want to select a certain book with such that says has, you know, colors or biomes or whatever the hell it is. But that is something we're going to have to sort out. And with the amount of books we've got here, we're going to have quite a number of pages. So, so much blooming fun, this. Right, we are back. After it's been a good, 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 good few hours since I last spoke to you guys. Firstly, searching in this ice age. Yep, I was only saying that because of all the ice around it. And just trying to get collecting as many pages as physically possible in here. And also in this little 16k unit we have in here. And then the fun, really, really fun part of putting them all into their own um, little folders. And I have to say, this took forever because I had to literally go into creative mode just so I could double check uh, which ones I was missing and which ones I've already full. And there are a few that I'm, um, I think, are full. Um, I should have not full, but are missing a few, and they are the ones with blocks, all the block modifiers, and also the bio modifiers. But as you can see. We have an absolute load. Just look at this. This is tons of biomes. This is only for a few hours, and I must have put a second one in while I was trying to work out what I missed and what I hadn't. But just look at that. All the, all these biomes, then all these blooming blocks. This is just absolutely unreal. It's like stone, water, spruce, snow, lava. Could even make him maybe even a lava world. Just, just full of lava. That. I think would be actually pretty fun. Uh, I just let me just put this in here, right? I'm seeing we have done all this. I think it's about time we actually do make an age for ourselves. I've been practicing in um, a creative world just to work out what sort of age I want, and I'm lucky enough I haven't had to watch a single video regarding how to do the age, and that for me is an absolute. That, that's just absolutely fantastic because it just saves so much time. Otherwise, I would have had to watch the video, say, Hypno, for example, which for me is so much better. Right, let me just do our linking book to, let's see... Right, our linking book's ready to go. Now it's just a case of we have to do this other book and I need one of these folders. Uh, cool. Okay, we seem to have two missing things. I'm just check these a minute. What have we left in here? Um, gold ore. And what else have we left? Gradient and also a bright lighting. Yeah, I think we've already got those blocks. <laughs> ah, always, always happens. Right, one, two, three, four. Let's just place you there, you there. And let's just place you, my good friend, back in here. All right, so... Now the fun pal, let me just place this thing in here, and this is going to be our age for, um, you know, the spawners, right? The first thing that we need to do and find is decide what type of world we want, and first things first is like coming down, we might as well just work down the list in terms of what we want, and the first things first is the type of world, it has to have a single biome. So what we have to do, I think we just right click and we just use some ink and a bit of paper and we make a copy of that one. So it's just like that. Celestials, and we just want say normal stars. Um, what else do we want? Normal stars, normal sun. Um, and a... Twinkly stars maybe? No, let's just go for a normal moon. Um, do we want like the... 
end of Starfield, you know, like when you go to the end, you have that really mental sort of like look to it. Oh, this is a really tough choice. I'm, I'm going to hold off on that one just while we're deciding what else we want. So we've got accelerated. No, we don't want any of that sort of stuff. Bright lighting. We want normal lighting for our age. Uh, basic modifiers. This is in terms of the rotation of the sun and so on. So I think the center phase is the sun stays at the top. And we also want the zero length. I think that's to do the movement of the sun or something like that. Um, next is the biomes and there's just one particular biome that we do want and that is the mushroom biome Bring me down to the fact that it just obviously in a, when you're in a mushroom biome from what I've heard I've never actually found one when I played vanilla is it doesn't spawn any single mobs whatsoever so mushroom mushroom um, where are we I'm sure I saw you before mushroom 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 I cannot find you for the lip Love no money. Aha, Mushroom Island. Aha, Mushroom Island. Perfect. We want that. Uh, block modifiers. I think we're going to leave that for the time being because we don't really need that. Colours. Ah, now this is going to be interesting. Interesting. What sort of colour do we want? We could go purple. That might make it dark, especially if we go for the end of Starfield. Uh, the red, silver. I think silver is actually pretty cool. Let's go silver. I think that's going to make it look really interesting. Populated. Now, this is any some things like you can see strongholds, dentals, mine shafts, spikes, obelisks, surfaces, and villages. So that I think we're not going to have. Terrain. Uh, we want ravines, and we need probably about seven of these. I think. So one, two, three. Make sure. Okay, why have I just made three floating islands? I don't know. <laughs> Let's try that again. Right, there we go. Number seven. I think we're just going to chuck our floating islands into the bin because we just do not want them. Um, Where were we? we? I think we're populators. Nope. I think, was it? Yeah, it was that one. Yeah, this one is still missing a few. I think we've got, I think it's about six or seven in total. Right, world landscapes, amplified cave, flat island. Aha. Void age, so that's perfect. And visuals, boundless sky, natural sky color, water sky, rainbow, night sky color. Nah, I think we're gonna leave that. Um, let's go for a boundless sky. Place that in like that. And weather is also important. We want absolute no weather whatsoever. Now it's just case what color sky do we want and do we want the end of starfield that is the tough choice that is the really tough choice right let me just have a think about this i'll be straight back yeah i think we will go with the end of starfield i'm just intrigued just to see what it was like if it all if it doesn't go the way we want we can just i can just delete the world from the ftp and then just make a new world very easily so end of starfield go like that and we are ready to go. So all we have to do now is just to select this one and place all of our pages in like so. So single biome, uh, mushroom, normal stars, and everything else. The one thing I'm not too sure about is whether all the pages have to be in the correct order as, you, as how you want them to. That is the really intriguing part. So we've just got a few more to put in. I think that's everything. Void, single, mushroom, normal stars, noon, sun. Yeah, normal stars, normal moon, normal sun, zenith, zero. Normal lighting, no weather, silver color, and a star field, uh, boundless sky. And these, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, time for the fun part. So we just have to take this out. And then we just place this one in here. And let's just call this a uh, spawning world. And select the book. Re we are now officially ready to go. This is the part where I'm a little bit tentative and nervous as well. Right, let's just get rid of let's just get rid of this very quickly. Right, moment of truth. Spawning world. Please be good.
Ó, ó. Ó. Okay, this is something I wasn't expecting. The game's just thrown in a never fortress just for the hell of it. <laughs> right, let me just place me butt down a moment and just have a quick little look around. And I also need to make a little waypoint so I'll know where I'm going. Especially if I want to get out. Right, exits. Um, um just make your make you that colour. Let me just have a quick little round. So <laughs> this is the most bonkers thing we've got. Never fortress is here. And over here, let me just check the map a minute. It's full of never fortresses. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I may have to remake the age. Just so we can actually make get a decent one. And up here, we have like floating mushroom island with acacia wood. <laughs> That's very different. Yeah, let's have a quick look. I love this end of the start. And the staff here with silver. This, I think, this takes the biscuit. Yep, we will be using this one. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if we will be using this age. It looks like it's going to be one that I'm going to be deleting. But it does look rigging mental. Though. I love this end of sky. What the hell is that down? Oh, is that? That's um, starfisher. So we can just jump down and return home. That, that's a bit on the weird side. This looks freaking fancy as hell. Right, make sure we're lined up so we don't fall into the void. Fumf. Not a bad first try. I think we're going to have to try it again. Just so we can do, you know, get a better rage without all them, all that ruddy rubbish. Hmm. Shall we do it now or shall we do it before the next episode? I think we'll do it before the next episode. Gives me time to work on it and also delete stuff from FTB as well. So I think on that note, I think my time limit, I am literally over and like mad, but who cares? It's, still, it's always fun playing this game. So anyways, like I said, I think it's time we ended the episode. So hopefully by the time you do come back, we will have this spawning age ready to go so we can start the construction of all the spawners and all the sort of supplies that we do really, really actually need. So anyway, so if you have enjoyed it and really do want to see much more of myself and the server, please do make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, please do subscribe because every single like, comment, and subscription helps my channel so, so much. And remember, if you are interested in playing on the server, applications are open. See you next time.